everybody welcome back to my channel so today I have another extreme clean with me cleaning video for you guys but in today's video I'm gonna be taking down all of my Christmas decor finally undecorating redecorating I have a lot to do so let's just get on into it spend my coin for show sure. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone else Okay, so I hope the lighting stays okay in this clip because obviously I have the camera facing the window, windows and it is so sunny outside. But I'm gonna be taking all of the ornaments and all the Christmas decor, Christmas tree decorations off and putting them in this bin. So I got this bin from Target for like $5, I think. I also got some huge ones, but I wanted a smaller one for the ornaments. of these like back behind the tree where I couldn't see them so clearly my two-year-old has been taking these off the tree and like <laughs> hiding them behind it because I had no idea that all of these were down there also this was the perfect size for all the ornaments so I'm so glad I got this down because I think I might need some help it's really big not even so much height wise but just like the width of it and so I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of the stuff down I'm gonna take those wreaths down however I really liked how they looked in the windows so honestly I think that when the trees down and the rest of the, the decor is down sometimes it looks a little bare so I might actually end up putting like some cream ribbon with like a spring wreath on both of these windows so We'll see, you guys will have to make sure you're subscribed for when I do my Valentine's Day Decorate With Me, my Spring Decorate With Me. You guys know I go crazy for every little season. <laughs> these with the fake plants anymore I don't know I'm just kind of over that look but every time I go to the store I kind of look around and try to find stuff that could replace it or maybe like some huge picture frames this space I I feel like the living room on camera doesn't kind of relate to what it is like this is a very big space so I just have such a hard time filling it so for now I'm just gonna take out all the Christmas florals and try to find some kind of shop my own house to put some in there until I find something different I don't know I just I don't really like how this area looks anymore it's crazy it was a Friday night when I first kissed you it struck me like lightning you broke my chains and released me and they turn into nights on the couch in your apartment no I am not the same everything has changed every day
start vacuuming. I love vacuuming. I feel like it makes everything instantly look cleaner. And you guys know I love my neutrals, but when I'm like in between different seasonal items and switching things out, I hate how bare it looks. It looks almost too neutral in here. I feel like it's so plain. So I cannot wait to start like redecorating everything. I'm falling behind, falling behind, I hate to separate my body and mind, my body and mind. Ooh, ooh, I feel like, ooh, ooh, I feel like demons in my mind, demons, demons in my mind. Ooh, ooh, it tastes like, ooh, ooh, it tastes like demons in my mind, demons pushing on my blanket on my channel I get questions about where I got it because it has all these beautiful hearts my grandma Kathy actually made it for me and my husband and gave it to us on our wedding day and she actually passed away a year ago so it is so so special to me it is so beautiful she was so talented so yeah this is like one of my prized possessions and I absolutely love it and I love that you guys seem to like it as well Think I'm losing my mind, but I guess that's what love do. I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about this. I got it like on a super, is it too dark in here? I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that. I got it like on a super, super sale on QVC and it was only like $30 or something and it is fake. Um, I couldn't do a real one just cause I have a two year old and I just feel like I'm not in the right mindset to have real plants right now. But I don't know if I like it in here. I don't know if it's like too deep of a green. Sorry, my cat's always meowing, always. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I like this spot, so I might move it around. I'm not too sure. You guys know that I'm one to like kind of move decor constantly. I feel like, here you go, Lucy, come here. Fun fact about my cat, because I mentioned that she meows all the time, constantly, and, sorry, I'm out of breath. It was, it's cold outside, it's like 40, so I'm wearing a sweater, or it's probably like 50, but when you're moving around, it gets so hot. But my cat, so I rescued her from the Humane Society 2014, so six years ago, and when I went there, she had a sign that said happy hearts. And I asked them what that meant. And they said that she was half off because she had already previously been adopted and the family brought her back because she was too loud. She meowed too much. She is just a talker like her mommy. <laughs> I've had people compliment these chairs before and I seriously love them. My husband is a really big guy and he's like 6'4 and it is a deep, oh my gosh, there's a hole on pillow in here. Oh my goodness. Ooh. We take care of our things around here. Okay, but look, so it's super deep and like kind of hugs you. 
and it's big and it reclines. Ooh. So it's really nice. And get this, we got it from Walmart and it was only like $200. So if you're looking for a recliner that has like a nice look to it and doesn't necessarily look like a recliner. Cause I'm not ready to give you my heart yet. I feel like if you want a blanket to look naturally laid, you just gotta like. Ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. Okay, I have all the blinds closed so you can see a little bit better. I sure love Christmas decor and I still need to take the tree down, but it just feels so nice to take it all down. It feels so much like fresher and cleaner in here. I still need to figure out what I'm doing over there. Okay, so this room looks great, but now, dun dun dun, oh my gosh. There's stuff everywhere. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. But can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? Before I'm too invested, you should take it easy. Maybe we could test this, and we're gonna feel this. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter. Maybe you taste different. Hold up, hold up, baby. I can't sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life. Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different filming it was still light out it was like two o'clock three o'clock it is now seven the sun has set the lighting's a little bit different because I have all of the indoor lights on but we are going to keep going so the kitchen looks really really bad just from lunch and dinner and whatever so I'm going to clean the kitchen and get all the Christmas stuff out of the kitchen area and then I need to finish getting all the Christmas stuff out of here let me turn you around the lighting is gonna be a little wonky while it adjusts. But I still have some Christmas trees over there. I have the Merry Christmas sign. I need to put back like this stuff that's normally out there. If I clean this off, I have the centerpiece that's normally on here. And yeah, just, I don't know, finish up. Whoa, the lighting is so messed up. <laughs> It'll get better. But yeah, let's just keep going into the kitchen area. My mom got for me and my husband it's an espresso oh my gosh we love it so much I cannot even describe it and this frother that she got like she got all of this as one 
Oh my gosh, I love it. I've never had better tasting coffee, espresso, nothing. Love it. Wait a second, I don't need you Then why so settled, I miss with you Still it feels just like I'm waiting for Something better, wait a second I wanna stay up late with my heart in your head Maybe stay too much cause you it's so bare, but I don't really know what to put here right now because I know I'm going to end up doing a decorating for Valentine's Day video. And Valentine's Day is only like a month away pretty much, so I don't want to full on. And you know, I don't want it to look too springy yet. It's still winter, so I'm just going to put this here for now. And it's just going to be really basic in here. Okay, so you might remember that there was a Christmas tree right here, a flocked one, but my cat kept eating it, so I already put it in the garage. So now I just have to pack this stuff away. This area as well isn't going to be super decorated because I have plans in mind for Valentine's Day decor. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on those um, videos. I have a Valentine's Day decor haul coming soon, a Valentine's Day decor that I bought, and then of course a decorate with me. These are some of my favorites and I think they're very wintry still. And they were from Ikea, so they weren't expensive at all. That looks silly. I need like bigger. Hold on. Wanna shake the ground? Wanna break away? super minimal decor look especially after having all that Christmas decor out let me know if you feel the same way now that is it for today's video I really hope that you guys enjoyed I still need to take down that Christmas tree and also a few other areas of my house, but this video was starting to get a little bit long, so I think I'm going to film a part two where I'm taking down the actual Christmas tree as well as Christmas decor like in the bathrooms, in the hallway, in our bedroom, and other areas around the house. But I, ho I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and let me know if you made it all the way till the end, and I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Wait, do you want